My name is Mike Rath. I am one of the assistant soccer coaches for our men's and women's programs. I'm Darcy O'Connor. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm a centre back, and I'm studying business administration. Hi, my name is Jacenia Velez. Um, I'm a liberal arts major here at Sussex, and I play left or right wing for this women's soccer team. First and foremost, even just getting our games, you know, scheduled in. Normally we're on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. Now we're on a Monday, Friday schedule. We have to make sure that other sports don't have home games or away games at the same time for transportation and for staffing. So, and then you have to figure in the distance traveled for each game as well as, you know, um, if it's out of state, whether it's in state. Some teams can't travel out of state. Some teams can't, you know, normally like to get overnight trips and like to play against nationally ranked teams. We can't really do that this year as much. I think it was maybe just a bit hard um, not being able to like hang out with the team and do workouts with them and when everyone went home at one point. Um, cutting our little spring season that they were trying to get going for us last year short. Um, I think that was kind of hard, but I think recently Mike and Frank have tried really hard to get everyone ready for the this upcoming season and I think it's gonna be really good. I wouldn't say there's been too many changes aside from the fact that I think it's the first time I'm going into a season without playing a scrimmage. Um, so obviously that's going to be the biggest thing is being fully prepared to play without having seen the team fully play together is going to be a new, new challenge to face. Well, our, our main philosophy is that we're a family. You know, Once you're a part of Sussex, you're a part of it for life. So we'll have previous players come to our preseason trainings, you know, train with us. You know, We've been invited to some other players' weddings. You know, it's it's very much a all for one, one for all type mentality, and you know that's something that we're really proud of. And that you know, um, myself, Coach Frank, the rest of our coaching staff, we all buy into that. Where if if one of our players needs something, we're always there for them. In addition to being competitive and you know winning, you know, because you know we are in a results driven business, but at the same time, it, it all comes down to the player or the person first and the player second. Mike and Frank pick the players they pick because of their strengths they have and despite some of the weaknesses you come in with, um, Mike and Frank know what they are aiming towards to build with you. So um, probably playing your game, focusing on your schoolwork and just like accepting the process. Yeah, it's going to be hard at first, but um, it is a school where like we're taught to grow in like the toughest of situations. We won the region last season. Um, we, we fell out of the district tournament, so our room for improvement would be we were one game away from the national tournament, you know, against a team that we had already beaten, you know, in a, in a preseason friendly. So, you know, our room for improvement was, you know, we, we could have we coached better and we could have adapted our tactics a little bit better during that district final. And, you know, that's really been driving us this whole year, year long break that we've had since then, you know. So, yeah, I think the highlight definitely was winning the region, you know seeing the teams come together the, the way that they did. And then our improvement is just building on that and, and trying to reach that next step. Seeing what Mike and Frank have been building these past few months um, and actually seeing it being put into play, I think is what's the most exciting part. And also um, knowing that we have built a really strong team and I just can't wait to see everyone out on the field in their uniforms. It's just the squad, the way the squad's looking, um, very promising, and I think that we should have a very, very successful season, so that's what's making me most excited. I feel both of our teams can be very good. Both of them are national title, title contenders, for sure. Um, you know, we're looking at winning the region again, and we're looking at going to the national tournament. You know, men would be up in Herkimer, New York, women would be down in Georgia, so we're really looking forward to it, and I think, you know, whatever our mindset is, the sky's the limit on it.